What's good guys, it's Jay Dobeness with yet another YouTube video. Uh, today's just going to be a recap of what I got from October. I got like seven pickups of shoes, so you did see one of them already, but the rest you haven't seen yet, so let's get into it. First pickup I got was from my sister. Uh, she gave it to me on my birthday. So shout out to my sister for getting me these, Maria. Um, I really like these. She says she got them at a good price. I would suggest to anybody that's not able to afford Ultra Boost or NMDs uh, to consider getting these. The Adidas SO Loops racers. As you can see, they have really crisp colorways. These are like a prism bluish triangle effect over here. Looks like ice. Pretty dope shoe and I cannot stress how comfortable these are. The Ortholite insoles that it has inside are so comfortable so I would suggest getting these if, um, if you can't afford the NMDs or the Ultra Boost. These price range around 40 to 80 bucks so it's a pretty good price man. Second shoe I got from this month are a shoe that I've, I've, I, I thought it was super cool the concept is this Toy Story uh, concept with bands. Uh, I thought this was the best one in the collection. Uh, it's a Skate Highs Buzz Lightyear over here. I, I, I haven't had a pair of Skate Highs, so I had to get these. These are super dope. I could wear these with anything, beat them up, and you know how it is with Vans or, or Chuck Taylors. You can wear them with anything. Uh, I'll show you the other pair. The other pair has the Andy right at the bottom. So that, that's pretty cool. And shout out to those people that know about the Buzz Lightyear Star Command show that used to give on Disney Channel in the mornings. Uh, so comment down below if you guys remember those. Uh, those show, that show particularly. Uh, it was such a good show. Yeah, I know they canceled it probably, but man, brings back a lot of memories. The third shoe, you guys already know what it is. I got these over um, from round two. It's in my last pickup, uh, the Nike Tire one. Bam, you guys already see. If you guys want to get in a more detailed review, check out my last video. These shoes, I know people are going to feel different about because of the colorway. These came out in 2011. Um, this is a really dope shoe. As soon as I saw it, the condition, it was so pristine. I just had to get these. I got these in Virginia. And um, basically, this month, it just passed. And I had to get these. I got them for a really good price. The Nike Foam Posit Electric Lime Foam Pros. Uh, the difference between the one and the pros is basically this check over here this right here as you can see look how clean it is look at the bottom of the soles you can see a little bit yellowing over here but overall you can see it from the side you can barely see any yellowing so i had to get these and i'm happy i got these in my collection from that box you guys already know what this shoe is you can see it these came out this year um, I had these back in 04 or 05. I had them in elementary school. I'll, I'll show you guys a picture of right over here in this corner. Uh, yeah, so it, I just had to get these shoes. They have such a sentimental value to me. Uh, these shoes you can wear with anything, especially in the summer. Uh, the all white with the blue. Uh, that sun hitting this white, it just makes it look so beautiful. But yeah, I just had to get these. I really love these, you can wear these with anything, so I'm just happy I got these, especially under retail. I, no, I got them a little bit over retail. I got these from over in Round 2 in Virginia as well, and I got these for, I'd say like 20 bucks over retail, so that wasn't so bad, and I traded a lot of shoes. The next shoe, it's a forgotten shoe. Not a lot of people, I, I haven't seen these in a while. Like, nobody where has worn these shoes in a long time, I haven't seen it face to face. And I, I was scrolling down on eBay and I just saw them and they were such in pristine condition, very clean condition. Uh, these came out between 2011, no, from 09, 2011. I'm not sure the specific year it came out, but it's where it's around that time where the phone positive hype was, was really trending. Um, and I just had to get these. These are the Half Sense Cranberry colorway. You can see right over here. Uh, it's such a, a, a nice red. It's not too poppy. It's like right in the middle um, Right here. You have that little penny right here in the logo Let me just let that focus As you can see I just got these in today and look how pristine and how icy they are look at the bottoms Size seven and a half. I have a weird foot. I, I could fit between a size six and a half all the way to eight. So 
it, it's 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 okay. It's a good it's a good thing I guess sometimes when I want to get GS shoes. But I do like men's size because they're very detailed and some GS shoes aren't detailed as possible. Like the Air Jordan ones, uh, that patent leather that the bread the bread colorway came out this year. We they didn't get the same material on the GS side, so that kind of sucks about having you know uh, grade school size shoes. One thing I forgot to show about these shoes is the insole. I like this, this is very cool. Basically right here, it's a little penny holding the ball, basketball right over here. Really cool insole, the other one is normal, it just has the Nike uh, logo with the Nike check. But yeah, I just had to, sh I felt like I should show this detail. Pretty cool. I especially remember I was not gonna get these shoes around, you know, 09, 11. I was just, I was just a kid, I didn't have a job and my parents were not gonna buy me a Basically, almost a $200 shoe it was uh, $190 retail. Um, I just got these for very, very under retail for this condition, so I'm happy I got these. Last but not least, I cannot describe the excitement I had when I got these shoes. These shoes are a pair that I've always wanted. These, these, these are a pair of foam posits that came out in 2011. This is the OG, OG, the Royal Blue foam posits. Around the time when they came out, the hype with foam posits were they were really crazy and I was not gonna get them because you know again I was a kid so I couldn't get them right now I would suggest anybody that's looking into getting foam posits get them now because prices are really low I would suggest getting them right now before you know I don't know if there's ever gonna be that type of hype again but I, I it was just a sentimental thing for me I just had to get these in such a pristine condition I know I keep saying pristine <laughs> but the, every shoe that I've gotten are very old but they are in like masculine condition like they even came out in the bag so let me just show you guys these bad boys man damn nike phone posit one pro no not pro one uh man look at that look at that blue man look at that icy soul look at this soul 2011 and it, tell me tell me one person you know with this kind of soul that's this clean with this shoe from 2011. You won't find these in this condition. Not a lot of them. But yeah, man, I'm really excited. I got these bad boys. I can't stress how happy I am to get these. I haven't worn these. I haven't worn. I've worn like three of the shoes from these pickups. But I'm 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 really excited to wear these eventually. These are a dope shoe. All right, guys. If you guys like that pickup for this month. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to comment down below if you want more videos like this. I'm going to be getting sneakers continuously. I, I try to stop and slow down, but it's just the love for the shoes. It's, 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 it's for real. It's serious, man. Um, I'm really excited to make more videos. I'm going to be more, more active on this. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to like my videos. There's, I have way more videos. I'm going to be coming out with more content. content. Um, I'm really excited to make more videos for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe again. Thank you so much for everything, all the supporters. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.